Hello friends, this is Chris Orwig. I'm a Sony artisan, photographer, author, and teacher. For this tutorial, I want to take a look at how we can process and improve an image from start to finish using Lightroom and the develop module. The photograph that we'll be working on is this one here. This is a photograph of an artisan that I met, and what I want to do is I want to clean up the image, remove a few of the objects, which are distractions, and then improve the overall color, tone, and details. I want to do a start to finish on this bad boy. All right, well here we'll go over to the basic panel. Inside of the basic panel, I'll start off by bringing up my exposure, and next bring up some contrast as well. As I start to bring up the exposure, at least for me, I realize the image was a little dark, and I'm gonna go for a brighter, a little bit more of a pale uh, color palette too. So it's gonna be brighter, so shadows are coming up. Highlights are gonna drop down, and then blacks I'll bring down as well. Now as far as the color goes, I am gonna bring up my temperature slider, so that will bring in some more warmth. And I'm doing this just to eye, just the way that I like it. It's not about it being color correct, it's more about having a mood or feeling. The image looks somewhat normal at this point, but I'm going to stylize it a little more, add some clarity, which will desaturate the, the colors. I'll bring out some more of the bigger colors by dropping vibrance. That takes those bright greens down, and so now we have a little bit more of an even color palette. And then looks like too much clarity there and a little too much contrast. I want it to have a soft, um, warm feeling to it. Now, if you want to get deeper into color, one of the ways you can do that is an HSL. You have hue, saturation, and luminance. If we go to saturation, what we can do is we can desaturate the oranges and reds. Those are colors we're seeing in the skin tones. We can also go to luminance and brighten those up. You can see how I'm kind of brightening up the skin tones there a little bit as well. All right, fine tuning this color. Let's go down to split toning. In split toning, I'll press Option or Alt and drag the hue slider until I find a nice bright yellow. I wanna bring in more yellow into my highlights. So I'm just gonna bring in some more yellows in that way. And then round trip back to the basic panel, maybe a little more brightness, a little more contrast, and just fine tune it until we get a nice color look for the photograph. All right, if I press the backslash key, you can see here's before. What we started with, we didn't realize perhaps was a little bit muddy and dark, and now we have this bright kind of yellowish type of look. All right, so this image was captured Sony A9, 85 millimeter lens. So it doesn't have a lot of distortion, but I still need to go down to my um, some of my controls here. I'll start off with lens corrections. I want to turn on chromatic aberration, or turn off or turn it on so that that's removed enable my profile correction that removed a little bit too much of that for me so I'm going to bring those values down a touch next I'll go into the detail panel in the detail panel what we want to do is either zoom into 100% or we can look in this little window and apply sharpening and the sharpening that I want to apply typically is going to have low detail that's portraits have really low detail like a beauty portrait this one's a little bit more textured, so I'll bring that up a little bit there. Noise reduction, that will help me deal with some uh, luminance or brightness noise reduction, and then remove a little bit of the color noise reduction as well. Now, one of the things I'm seeing is there's a little bit of chromatic aberration. It's green, kind of glowing edges back here, so I'm going to go back to my lens corrections and fix that with the eyedropper. I'll sample on that color, so it's kind of the green color right there so that now these sliders are correcting that little issue that I had and it's removing that from that area. I can't really zoom in any farther than this, but um, I don't know if, so I don't know if you can see it, but it did really fix that nicely for me. All right, next I'll zoom out so I can see the whole image. I wanna add a little bit of film grain here. So I'm gonna go into the effects panel and add uh, just a touch of film grain there to give it a nice feeling. All right, well, now that I've done all of this, I wanna do my retouching. And retouching in Lightroom is really easy. We have a tool which is called the Spot Removal Tool. It's right here. You can either click on it or press the Q key. Then you have the ability to clone or heal. I'm gonna do some healing because that blends things in a little bit better. And I'm just gonna paint over with a brush this area which I wanna get rid of. And then I'll change my source area. Just make sure that's lined up nicely. I'll move over to the cup over here paint over that and again just make sure it's lined up pretty well and I'll go over to this area too. 
If you have smaller objects, you may want to use an even smaller brush that sometimes can help you get even more exact results. If you find this overlay distracting, press the H key that allows you to hide it. You can change your brush size. Right bracket is bigger, left bracket is smaller. And when you hide the overlay graphics, you can then clone or heal on top of an area you've already worked on. This can be really helpful so that you can remove any unwanted patterns or repeating patterns so you can sort of clean this up. If you make a mistake like I have here, just press the H key and then you can click through your various adjustments like I'm doing here until you can find the adjustment. This one looks like I need to fix right there, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and then I'll go back and I'll redo this right here. It was sampling in or pulling in content from an area which just didn't look very good. All right, well, there you have it. We have now finished this photograph. I'll close that out there. Press the backslash key to look at the before. And then now you can see the after. And the hope with this tutorial was just to show you a simple step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I would use Lightroom in order to process an image to start from start to finish to clean up the details, but also add a little bit of style and color and tone to improve the image like we've done here. All right, well, there you have it, our before and the now, the after. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.